Hi everybody, this is Jan's art. Jan speaking. Um, I'm going to paint um, a woodland scene with some um, sun streaming through it and maybe a little stream. And I just wanted to show you how I start. This is my steer wet palette, which is just a piece of damp canvas on top of a bit of hessian on top of a bit of sponge. And it's nice and damp. I'll wet it a little bit more. That's it. So it's nice and damp. So when I put my acrylic paints on, that's what I'm painting with acrylic paints, they're going to stay nice and easy and flowing and it won't dry out so much. Right, the first colour that I'm going to put on is white. So I always like to put on a couple of dollops. One is for white and one is for mixing. Just so I keep my whites fairly clean. Okay. So that's the first white and that goes on in the top left hand corner. Right, the next colour I want to put on it's just going to have a lot of sun. I'm going to put on some yellows. Now I like lemon yellow. So it's a little dollop of lemon yellow. Then I'll put on some cadmium yellow. There's really not much between the yellows, but it saves you mixing the colours if you've already got the colours that you want. This is a cadmium yellow deep hue, which is a lovely yellow. It's going under the orange. And of course, I've got some orange. There we go. It's a lovely little autumn colour. It's nice and warm. This is where all the light's coming from. Then I've got my cadmium red. These are little just pea-sized dollops of paint. Hopefully they'll last me a little bit longer. Now I'm going to go on to some, still on my reds, I've got a Venetian red, which is like a, um, a raw sienna, but I like it. So that's my Venetian red. Now I've got a quinacridone magenta. This is a lovely colour, this. I do like it. It comes out really thick. Because I literally cut it off the tube. There we go. This is a powerful colour and it's going to give me some lovely shadows. Now I'm going to come on to some greens. I'll put my greens up here. I'll start off with an olive green. And my olive green. And I'll go on to a, a bright green. You can never have enough greens when you're doing a forest. There's lots of ways to make greens with other colours, but it's nice to have the colours ready, waiting for you. I've got an emerald green. Oxide of chrome, which is like a sap green. These are SAA colours. Right, I'm going to have a little bit of sky, so I want a cerulean blue. Okay, just, just 
Give it a bit of sky. This is going to be more foliage than sky, but I'll have a bit of sky coming through. Now I'm just going to finish off with my darks. Okay. So I'll start off with a raw sienna. And a burnt sienna. These are lovely chocolate colours. Then we've got a raw umber. There's more to come out of the tube. There we go. Number. And finally, everybody's favourite, black. Okay, which gets a corner all to itself. Right, so there's my palette. The last of the summer palette with a hint of autumn coming on. Okay. So I've got my palette and I'm all ready to start putting this all together into some form of a... Right, so what I'm going to do first off, I'm going to get me my little painting brush. There we go. Let's just get some rounds in here. That'll do. Just to give me an idea what I'm doing. Now I'm going to have a turn in a river. So I'm going to have the river maybe coming down here and just disappearing there okay so I've got a bit of river there a river bank and I've got a we're gonna have a, a bit of a bank up here now I'm gonna have a really big tree that's gonna be the centerpiece and that's just gonna come Right through my painting. I just don't care, look, see? So, we're going to have a big tree coming through there, and maybe. I don't know. Something happening up here. Maybe some trees up there. Okay, so that's my first scene. It's not much, but it'll get me going, okay? Right, next thing I want to do, just mop up some of this. That's it. My steer wet is getting a bit wet. So I'll just mop up the excess using a bit of that's it. It just stops all these other fantastic colours coming along. Right, what I want to do now is I want to find out where my source of light is. So I think around about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my white. Okay. And some of my lemon yellow. And that's going to be my source of light. Might have a little bit of cerulean, a little bit of white, just for a little bit of sky. Here. Yeah. 
Now, I'm using a gesso brush, just a, a two, two inch gesso brush. So I'll dampen it, get off the excess so it's nice and damp. Let's start off and we'll just put in a bit of sky up here. Look. It's very light and all I'm doing is I'm just dry brushing. There we go. Just a little bit of something. Not a lot, I'm not really worried too much. This is more about the trees than it is the sky. So. I keep wanting to go. Right. Let's try this again. This is what happens when you try and do an impromptu studio. Right. So I'll clean my brush. I don't want any glue on it. I'm going to go into my yellow and white, and this is where my highlight is, where the sun is coming through, see, just there. Now because it's coming through there, I've got to have it coming through on the water, if it's a reflection, yeah? So I'm just adding a bit of the lemon yellow. That's my highlight. Um, let's just add a little bit of white in the middle. So we make it really bright. There we go. Excellent. So that's my light. That's my light source. That's where everything's coming from, yeah? So I can see that. Here. So I've got my light, now I want to start putting in some of this foliage that I can see. So I'm going to start with maybe some greens, maybe use my blue to make some greens. There we go. And I'm just putting in some greens along there. So they get a little bit darker, see? So this is coming down this bank. Maybe I've got a few little bits of green up here. Look. That's it. So we can see we're starting to get an impression of something. Uh, let's add some more umbers to these greens. We'll make them really dark. And let's, oh, look at that, isn't that lovely, hey? Let's put some dark greens up here. Maybe some more of this dark green. Along here, look, just a few little dabs, see? I don't want to spoil this highlight, so I'll go put a horrible bit there, but it doesn't matter, it's, it's, it really isn't worrying about. So as you see I'm very loose, so I'm getting me greens. Alright, I want to clean my brush, get this dark green off my brush, clean it. Oh, 
like that green top. Oh, this is lovely up here, look, see? That's lovely. It goes over the greens. There we go. That's it. So we can start to get some greens building up there. And let's maybe add some more. Oh, that's lovely. That's a yellow. Coming in, look. Turning the, the leaves. This is autumn, just around the corner. See? And it's coming in like this. Maybe we should have some oranges. Okay, so I'm mixing into the orange. See, I've got a dirty brush. I've got everything on it. Just oh look at that. See? Just that uh, just in between, leaving a little bit of sky, look. There we go. When I'm in the painting mode, oh let's put some more. Oh, that's really nice, it's orange, isn't it? Let's go into this green. Up here, look. 